Carlos, after such a good stretch for Quintana, he started to dip now a little bit these last couple, especially. What what have you seen in this recent little stretch? Yeah, uh, today, you know, a couple pitches up in the zone, holding a breaking ball to Santander, then the fastball up to McCann. Uh, today, pitch sequencing. Uh, probably we need to do a better job there. Um, <clears throat> you know, throwing a hanging breaking ball there to Santander. Then he throws a fastball that looks like McCann is right on it, and then he goes back to it. And, you know, obviously clip him again. Um, we just got to do a better job of keeping them in the park. Um, you know, uh, whether he's nibbling a little too much, getting behind in counts. Uh, but then when he comes in in the zone, he's leaving pitches uh, up, So and they're doing damage. So, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's got to continue to work. He's got to got to get through it and because uh, we're going to need him. You mentioned keeping the ball in the yard, and I know that we've we've talked about this throughout the season a little bit, but he was so good last year at not allowing the home run. Any idea why that has just been something that he's been unable to get back to this year? Yeah, I think it's a combination of a lot of things. Uh, him getting behind in counts at times, and then he's got to come in the middle of the zone. And not only he's coming in the zone, he's leaving pitches up. Uh, whether it's a fastball, the two seam, the breaking ball, and when you you know you're making mistakes like that, especially against a team like this that they can hit, um, they're gonna make you pay. Um, so back to back outings for him where he's been a struggle, and uh, we just gotta continue to work with him. Zach, so you're you're committed to him making his next start. Yes. Yeah. It, it, when you look at. August, I think the ERA is eight, eight and a half here. How much is that kind of hurt in, when he struggled so much, hurt your guys' ability to kind of be more consistent? Yeah, look, he's going through it. Um, he's been a few outings now where he's been a struggle, and uh, not only we're not getting length out of him, but it seems like, you know, we get down and get down by few. Um, but he's been through it before. He's been in this league for a long time. He's going to find a way. He'll continue to uh, you know, watch film and work on his whether it's mechanics, uh, sequencing, game planning, things like that. Uh, but yeah, um, he's he's been here before and he's gotten through it, and I'm pretty sure he will here. Tim, what went through your mind watching that that play in the top of the ninth? Uh, we just got to stop the play. You know, uh, Nemo makes an attempt, uh, making a diving play can make the play, then we throw the ball home play. At that point, we just got to stop the play. You know, once you start throwing the ball all over the place, it's, it's not a good thing. So we just got to stop it there and, and limit the damage. Bill. What made uh, Dean Kramer so good today? Yeah, um, the movement on his pitches. I thought the sinker uh, was moving big time today, especially the back door to righties. Then uh, the cutter that plays pretty much like a slider. Uh, the split was good. I thought he was on today, you know, with the, with the way he used, the way he mixed uh, all of his pitches and uh, kept us off balance. And uh, again, but the movement overall today, was he was pretty sharp. Joel? Just because uh, Quintana is 35 and he didn't pitch a lot last year, do you have any concerns he's hitting a wall here and there is no bounce back for him this year? Um, no, look, um, you know, he, obviously we're – you know, where we are on the schedule, August, he was hurt last year a lot. But physically, he feels fine. Um, you know, he continued to check all the boxes as far as, you know, strength and, 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 and all the things that we do in the training room. Uh, I think it's just him not executing. Uh, and like I said, there's a lot, a lot going on, but physically, he's fine. So, I don't know. I mean, do you even have an alternative right now if you wanted to try to do something? Uh, well, I mean, we haven't got to that point. You know? um, so right now he's on our rotation, and we're going to need him. So, Abby? You guys have been so good defensively these last couple of months, but there were some missed balls, wobbles, and you know, kind of a freak thing with Alvarez tripping. Was it just one of those games, or was this uh, some mental mistakes, or what do you attribute this to? Yeah, no, it happens. Um, Again, I, th I think the, the one was in the ninth inning where we threw the ball around. But uh, Alvi's trying to make a play there. Uh, he's trying to be aggressive. And, you know, before you know it, nobody's covering home plate. Um, and they scored a run. But, uh, yeah, we've been pretty good, uh, like you said, especially the past couple of months. And, uh, you know, we got good defensive players. Um, we made some good plays, uh, you know, during this stretch, uh, which is just one of those nights. 
Evan? Do you take some kind of encouragement from that eighth inning where you guys were able to kind of muster some runs, or was it just a case of too little, too late, you think? Well, yeah, it's always good when, you know, um, you're down 7-2 and then or 7-1, whatever that was, but J.D. with a big homer. Uh, and get us back in the game, uh, you know, give us a little bit of life. But at the end of the day, you know, we, we lost the game. Uh, and uh, you just got to be ready for tomorrow. Manny? Just kind of along those lines, and after that eighth inning and, you know, that the, the defensive blunders there, does that kind of suck the life out of that momentum you guys were kind of building there? Um, look, I mean, we got back in the game, and, and then we gave it right away. Um, so, you know, I, I don't think so. Uh, at the end of the day, we got to go out there and, you know, put together some good at bats and get back, you know, put some runners on base and try to create something, and we did. And so, Joel, Carlos, I, I know it's hard to ignore the scoreboard, but are you watching that Brave score more than any other time this year at this point? I'm gonna be honest with you, Joel. Uh, nah, I'm not watching because uh, we gotta we gotta win our games here. You know, like uh, if not win, we're not winning games. It doesn't matter, you know. So uh, I was I was not looking at the scoreboard today.